guys, today I am going to be doing my recap and reaction to last night's Halloween special of Pretty Little Liars. And I honestly have to say that I was pretty disappointed with the episode. Like, last year's Halloween special episode was so freaking good and they revealed so much stuff in that episode. And this year's episode, they didn't reveal anything! Like, it was... I was really disappointed with it. It was still pretty good. But there wasn't like this big, oh my god, kind of moment at all. The end was the only part that was really good, but we all expected it. So it just, ugh. So, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and get into my recap of what I thought along the whole episode. The episode starts out, the girls are still in Ravenswood, and they are trying to find Allison to save her or protect her from... A, whoever this A is, who now is a guy, that they're making it look like it's Ezra now, which I'm still so pissed about, I can't, I can't even, I can't even talk about Girls it. Girls get all dressed up in these fabulous Victorian looking outfits to go to this Halloween party to find Allison, and all the outfits were absolutely amazing, but did anybody think that Emily's outfit kind of made her look like a pimp? <laughs> like, all the girls said they had these gorgeous Victorian outfits with court sets and fabulous gorgeous hats, and Emily came out with like this weird blue looking tuxedo-y dress thing and then her hat looked like a pimp hat. It was like one of those pulled to the side with a point and it had a damn feather coming out of it. I was like, she looked like a damn pimp. Oh my freaking god, that is the funniest thing I've ever seen and I actually saw um, uh, Makeup by Tiffany D. She posted a tweet of that that Emily looked like a pimp and I busted out laughing because I thought the same freaking thing that she looked like a pimp. But anyway, side note, I just had to put that in there because I thought it was too freaking funny. So the girls are all dressed up in their outfits and they go into a cemetery because, you know, a cemetery is just the cool place to have a party. That's just the cool place to have a party in Ravenswood because it's just the creepiest place on the face of the planet. As soon as the girls get into the graveyard, Arya gets a phone call and it's from Ezra. And Ezra's saying he hasn't heard from her and he's been trying to call her and he's worried about her. And she tells him that they're in Ravenswood and they're in a graveyard and that's all she tells him. And he just keeps saying, be careful, Arya, be careful, I'm worried about you, da 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 da. So then it flashes to Ezra, and Ezra's wearing the damn gas mask costume! Oh, I'm so pissed. That was the only thing I was holding on to that it wasn't Ezra. I was like, oh, maybe Ezra's still good, and has no idea what's going on, and maybe the guy in the gas mask is really A, and then they show Ezra wearing the gas mask, and I'm like, damn it! No! So it's really starting to look like Ezra really is this board shorts, bad A guy. I'm just so pissed. I'm so pissed. I'm really hoping it's going to end up like when Toby was bad, or when Toby was good, and they made him look bad, but I think it's getting to the point where they need to pin this all on somebody, and it's really looking like it's Ezra, and I'm so pissed about it because I freaking love Ezra! Oh my god, I'm so pissed! <sighs> I'm so mad, I can't even talk about it. It makes me so irritated. So, so the girls are there, and they are looking for Allison, and um, while they're looking for Allison, Emily gets grabbed by a creepy heebie-jeebie lady's back. I wish they would just get rid of this character because she is just the t most terrifying woman I've ever seen. So Mrs. Grunwald, she grabs Emily and she's like, What are you guys doing here? I told you to leave. You need to get out of here. Da 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 da. But do they listen? No, because they never freaking listen. So she runs away from Mrs. Heebie-jeebie lady. Girls go walking to try and find Allison. They get a little bit separated at the beginning of the episode. Hannah keeps seeing these two little like girls with red coats on which can somebody explain to me why she keeps seeing these little red is this like some foreshadowing or like irony or something that she's seen two little twin girls with red coats everywhere i thought that was kind of weird because it stayed through the whole episode she would see them at the beginning then she saw them at the middle and then she saw them at the end and she turned around and saw their weird little creepy faces I, I, I don't know if that's even relevant to anything but whatever hannah saw these two little girls in red coats and she got distracted and went off and then um the girls end up meeting back together in the graveyard and all of a sudden they see somebody with the red coat running in the opposite direction. So they all go chasing after her thinking it's Allison and the girl leads them into like an underground like mansion kind of thing. It's At first it's an underground tunnel and all the girls get into this underground tunnel and they look for Allison and all of a sudden she's just disappeared. She's not there anymore. But they notice that a little statue on the side of the wall moves and they can go into more of the underground tunnel. And while the girls are in this tunnel, okay, it flashes to Caleb and he's on the bus coming to Ravenswood. And all this stuff with them trying to incorporate the stuff with Caleb moving to Ravenswood in this episode I think is what made it so dull to me. Like, 
it just was so boring, all the stuff with them showing Ravenswood and trying to get you excited for Ravenswood. It didn't get me excited for Ravenswood. It made me like, dude, this show's gonna suck. So I'm not even really gonna touch on the stuff with Caleb and the girl Miranda because I was so bored with it. But um, Caleb meets this girl Miranda on the bus. They start talking. She's in foster care. She's going to find her uncle. Nobody freaking cares. It was so freaking boring. So back to the girls in the tunnel. The girls are in this underground tunnel and they're walking and looking for Allison and all of a sudden this crazy wind comes out of nowhere and blows all the girls hats off and they're pushed up against a wall and they're all holding hands and they're like ah! and then all of a sudden the wind stops and then they look and Hannah is not there and there's a statue where she was. Creepy, right? Who knows? So Hannah disappears from the girls somehow. We have no idea how she disappears but she turned into a damn statue and she disappeared and now she's on her own roaming the freaking tunnels of this underground mansion thing nobody knows what the hell this is the girl so the girls all freak out and they're trying to look for hannah now hannah is on her own roaming through this mansion and somehow she comes across this little like weird looking payphone kind of thing she goes inside and she tries to call on the little rotary phone which was hilarious watching her try to dial on this old rotary phone and the phone doesn't work but while she's dialing, somebody closes the door while she's in there, and she ends up getting locked in this creepy payphone kind of thing. So while she's in there, I don't under—I didn't understand this part at all. This was trying to show like the payphone was like moving, or if it was just like creepy lights or whatever. But while she's inside the little phone booth thing, she sees these three like bouncing lights. They come all around inside the payphone thing where she's at and it like lights up the whole payphone and it almost looks like she's moving but I don't think she's moving I have no idea and then all of a sudden she sees like the figure of Allison looking through the glass at her and it's like this really foggy glass that you can barely see through but she sees Allison like this looking up at her all of a sudden the guy in the creepy gas mask comes up and grabs her by the throat and they disappear and then Hannah looks down at the knob and somebody's like turning the knob and all of a sudden, the door opens, and it's the Miranda chick that was on the bus with Caleb. They gotta tie it in somewhere to make them all go to Ravenswood, so she's gonna all of a sudden help Hannah. What the freaking hell? Who knows? So, apparently, the house that all the girls are in is whoever this Miranda girl's uncle is that she's go going to meet. So, Miranda tries and helps Hannah find a way out of this creepy-ass mansion underground thing. So then it flashes to the rest of the girls still looking for Hannah. Now they're trying to find Hannah. Somehow Spencer gets separated from the group, just like Hannah did. They go, they turn, they look, Spencer's gone. Who the hell knows what the heck's going on? So Spencer actually ends up in this like greenhouse looking room and all of a sudden the creepy guy in the gas mask, apparently Ezra, shows up and he's behind her and he tries to attack her and they get into this rumble, if you want to call it, and she hits him with these little hedge clipper thingies, and he falls to the ground, and as she's going down to pick the mask up off of his face, he jumps up and he grabs her arm, and she falls and hits her head, and she's knocked unconscious. And for some reason, he just leaves her there and goes away. So eventually, Emily and Arya come, and they find Spencer laying on the ground, and she wakes up and freaks out and says, Hey, he's here. We have to get out of here. Oh my god, he's going to get Allison. Oh! But constantly the girls keep hearing Allison. They keep hearing her voice. They keep hearing her screaming. They keep hearing her saying that, oh my god, he's going to kill me, da 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 da. So they keep following wherever her voice is coming from. And they get into this room and they see that Allison's voice is actually a recording. And it's coming from a little recorder. And they stop and they turn it off. And then they turn around and guess who's standing there? Heebie jeebie creepy lady is back because they just can't get rid of this damn character that gives me chills. Look, chills. Heebie-jeebie lady, I hate her. So heebie-jeebie creepy lady, Mrs. Grunwald is standing there and she tells them that she apparently lives in this creepy ass mansion underground thing, but it's not technically her house. She just lives there and takes care of it. Who the hell knows? So she goes over and says that they found her recording, and this was a recording session that she had with Allison. So then she gets this look on her face like, oh my god, something bad just happened because she's supposedly psychic. And the girls are like, what? What did you just see? And she's like, it's not what I see, it's what I feel. And she looks at the girls and she says that the person Allison is so afraid of has already touched one of them. And 
when she says that, it just instantly makes you think it's Arya and she's talking about Ezra. Like, who else could she be talking about that has already touched one of them? You know what I mean? Like, that made me think even more that Ezra, it's really Ezra and Ezra's A and he's bad and makes me more pissed every time I talk about it. I just get so pissed when I talk about this. I'm so mad they're making him bad. So she says that, um, she says that he's already touched one of them. They all get this scared look on their face like, oh my god, who is it? Oh! So then they all end up leaving the mansion and Hannah is then reunited with Caleb and the stupid Miranda chick who I'm sorry I think looks like his damn sister. Did any of you think that they looked related? Because I thought they looked like brother and sister. Who the hell knows? But anyway. So the girls call Hannah and say that they're leaving and to meet them at the car and Hannah ends up having this scene where she's with Caleb and she tells Caleb that she wants him to stay behind with this Miranda girl and help her find her uncle. Because, you know, they had to somehow venture more into this ra stupid Ravenswood show. So she kisses him. They have this really passionate, oh my god, I love you so much kiss. And then Caleb stays behind to help this Miranda chick and to go on in the show Ravenswood. So Hannah ends up meeting back up with the girls and the girls end up having a flat tire. So the girls try to fix this flat tire. They don't have a spare tire, so it's like they're screwed. And then all of a sudden, they see these headlights pulling up towards them, and Ezra gets out of the car, Arya goes running up to him, and they hug, and he says he got worried about her because he didn't hear from her. So then he says, well, why don't I give you guys a ride back to Rosewood, and it's getting late, get in my car, I'll take you guys home. Then it home. flashes to Arya kissing Ezra goodbye in the car. Oh, God, can't be bad. Okay, so he says, she says goodbye to Ezra, the girls are all standing outside, and what do you know, Allison appears in freaking Rosewood out of nowhere. Lord knows how she got there from Ravenswood so damn fast. Maybe she ran, maybe she took a damn plane, maybe she took a car. Nobody knows, she just appears out of nowhere all the damn time. So they see Allison, and they chase after her, and this time, when they chase after her, she doesn't run away, and the girls come up into this backyard, and they just see the back of Redcoat with the blonde hair, and they all just stop, and they're like, okay. And then it slowly turns around, and the hood comes off, and the wind blows, and it's like, oh, and it's Allison. And we finally see Allison. None of the girls are on drugs, or in the hospital, or half asleep, or sick, or something where it could be a drugged out illusion that they're seeing her. They're all perfectly sober and healthy. So we finally know that Allison is still alive, which we all freaking knew that she was already alive because the girls have seen her a million times and us as the viewers have seen her a million times helping the girls and whatever. So this was apparently the big, oh my god, moment of this Halloween episode, which I was just kind of like, we already knew that. That wasn't a big reveal. We already freaking knew that. So then they're like, she goes, oh, did you miss me? And she tells the girls that it's still not safe for her to come home and um, she's afraid and blah blah blah. The thing that Allison says that you would think has some meaning to it is she looks at the girls and she tells Hannah, remember what I told you in the hospital. So that I want to say was the first season where Hannah was in the hospital and she got hit by the car and she sees Allison and she talks to her and stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and link a video of their conversation if you don't want to go back through all your DVDs. I just looked on YouTube and watched a video of Hannah in the hospital. And when I was watching it back, I don't understand what was so significant about the conversation. She doesn't mention a guy. The most that she says is that Hannah goes, were you going to meet this guy? And she thought it was Noel. And Allison laughed and was like, Noel? <laughs> no, da 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 da. And then she still calls, she still refers to A as a bitch, which you're making it think it's a girl. So I don't understand how that was so significant because she's just talking about telling lies, that it wasn't Noel, and that A is a bitch. How does that make us think it's Ezra? I don't understand. So then she, Allison sees headlights behind the girls and she goes, shh and she's just like all scared and freaked out and then she disappears again because Ezra walks up and Ezra walks up and he just kind of looks creepy and all the girls look at him like all worried and creepy and he just hands Arya her phone and he's just like you forgot your phone and then she grabs it that was the only part I thought was actually really good was the end of it because it was kind of like almost like Arya had this look on her face like she kind of knew that Allison was afraid of Ezra, but she didn't want to admit that to herself, that 
uh, Allison was so afraid of Ezra. That's kind of the drift, the drift I got from it. Those are all my thoughts on the Pretty Little Liars Halloween episode, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know that you guys requested this like crazy, and even though I was a little disappointed in the Halloween episode, I still wanted to do a recap and a video on it because you guys have been requesting it like crazy for the past two months. So I still wanted to get it up for you guys, so I hope you're not disappointed in it since I am not like raving about how amazing the episode was because I was a little let down with it. But maybe you guys felt the same way I did. I would love to hear what you guys thought. Just leave all of your thoughts and theories and everything in the comments below because I love talking to you guys about all this. And I've loved talking to you in my previous Pretty Low Liars videos and hearing all your theories. I find it so interesting. So I look forward to talking to all you guys in the comments about all Pretty Little Liars things. And I will make sure to do more Pretty Little Liars videos when the new season actually starts up and is up and running in January. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!